uh, this is for the non con 2020. Uh, it's about uh, removing friction with uh, crypto native uh, banking. So first, uh, who am I and what I do? So my name is Julien Guiton. I'm in uh, Bitcoin since uh, 2011. Uh, I'm a crypto anarchist, uh, cypherpunk, and now a banker. <laughs> uh, this is uh, funny because uh, it doesn't relate. Uh, I uh, work on uh, my project, Condensa Technologies and Condensa Bank, uh, and uh, on this uh, crypto banking uh, subject since 2017. So uh, it's been uh, three years I'm working uh, on this. So uh, my point of view of, about uh, Bitcoin, because uh, I'm in Bitcoin since 2011 and uh, I so a lot of Bitcoin. So for me, Bitcoin is done and it works perfectly. Uh, Scalabi is solved by uh, off-chain cryptographic uh, contracts like Lightning Networks and uh, Raiden. I saw that uh, Raiden is a, a supporter of this uh, conference. And uh, there are only some uh, optimizations to add and it's a job for cryptography and game theory specialists. I mean, uh, there is a, a few upgrades uh, to happen in Bitcoin and even in Ethereum. Uh, Bitcoin is about cryptography with a taproot and a Schnorr uh, encryption model. And uh, for Ethereum is uh, version two of it. So um, we use it, uh, I think people uh, are watching this uh, conference, uh, uh, they are all using uh, cryptocurrencies. So uh, they know how it works and it works. And, uh, there is no real question about it, uh, but uh, some optimization, some new things, and uh, all the new services we are building with it are more commercial services than uh, businesses, that kind of thing. So uh, we are looking uh, at it. So why banking? Why, uh, why uh, from Bitcoin, I moved to uh, banking and uh, asking me question about how to to do it, uh, banking is about uh, trust, and um, our cryptocurrencies uh, things. Uh, the absolute trustless solution is to hold your friend uh, in your head. Uh, I mean, you you know the number, uh, you store it in your head, uh, you learn it by heart, and uh, so you can have your money uh, everywhere in the world, and nobody can uh, access your funds but you. So I would set your brain, you have to trust. Uh, you have to trust the tightness of your pockets because uh, in the train or uh, public transportation, you can uh, have some pickpockets. Uh, the medium, the software or hardware of your wallet. Uh, I mean, you can trust Ledger or uh, Trezor, uh, a paper sheet, uh, some, some other wallets. And uh, you can trust uh, safe. If you have gold bars, you have uh, you have to trust a, a safe. Uh, if you put your um, uh, private keys in a in a safe, you have to trust your safe. And this is the same way for banks and uh, that kind of uh, of companies and institutions. And uh, uh, at the end, we are the happy few interested in non custodial technologies uh, because we know how to manage. Uh, uh, cryptographic material, private keys, that kind of things. Uh, and the majority of people don't know shit about uh, what uh, we are doing. And they don't want to know a thing. This, this is not their life. <laughs> they don't really care about it. So uh, that's why they have trust in, uh, in banks or in the safes, in the safe or other uh, businesses and technologies. So, uh, since uh, a few years, uh, I learned a lot about banking, uh, the finance world. Um, this space is uh, very unknown to, to people. And there are some, this is not really secret, but uh, we don't live in, uh, in their world. So uh, there are something we don't know about them. So uh, for bankers, a bank is an institution that lends money, uh, and it's, uh, it's right. This is uh, the way it works. Um, I mean, a bank 
at the beginning, a bank comes from uh, the world the bank. Uh, in, uh, because uh, pe uh, the guy who lend money sit on a, on a bench and uh, a bench uh, translate to a bank. And uh, for example, when the model lender uh, was in bank, uh, was bankrupt, bankrupt is uh, bankarota is breaking the bench. So uh, uh, a bank is just a bench and uh, it's about lending money. But for the majority of us, a bank is a place where you put your money and it's wrong. Uh, this is not a bank. Uh, a custody company is not a bank, but it requires a, a license. Uh, I mean, if you open a company that just holds funds, it's just a custody company, this is not a bank. You don't have the right to be called a bank uh, because banks are just lend money. So, of course, uh, all banks we know, uh, and we know uh, we have a lot of banks, they, they lend money, of course, but they also uh, uh, custody your money. Uh, you have uh, accounts uh, in your banks. Mm. But uh, this space, this finance space is uh, old and uh, they need us to uh, improve their technologies. And uh, we, we know that uh, there is no decentralization uh, in banking or finance. There is no specialization. There is no interoperability. Uh, decentralization, I mean, they all rely on the, on the central bank or central banks on plural, but central banks rely on uh, settlement companies. Uh, there is no specialization. I mean, a bank, a bank do money lending, a bank do insurance, a bank do accounting, a bank do payment. They do everything. So they do too much activities uh, in finance and uh, they are not specialized. So sometime when you ask a bank for details, you go to, to, to your bank uh, on the street and you ask uh, information about lending money or, or something and they have to make files and uh, ask to their, uh, to their boss uh, how it works and uh, because they do too much activities. And uh, about interoperability, this is worse. <laughs> uh, in banks, I learned uh, a lot about uh, what kind of software they use to to do finance uh, because they use software, of course. Um, uh, maybe some of you uh, heard of Swift and uh, SIPA, SH, uh, FedPay, um, uh, Target2, this kind of um, words used in, uh, in finance. And uh, but people, a lot of people don't know about uh, uh, this uh, software. So uh, much of them are just uh, XML uh, and APIs with some cryptography. Uh, but um, institutions don't really trust each other uh, when they use uh, this, um, this kind of software. And uh, if you look uh, at the specifications, because you can find the specification about uh, this kind of software in the uh, internet, uh, I live in Europe, so I know CIPA, CIPA and uh, CIPA is managed by the European Payment Council. They have a website and you can find all the specifications um, for Target2. This is also a European uh, law about uh, banking, central banking, settlement. And uh, you can find a specification about uh, this, but these specifications are uh, thousands of pages. I mean, we can compare to Bitcoin, which is white paper, which is 10 pages, around 10 pages. And the uh, target to uh, specification is 3,000 or 4,000 pages. So this is uh, nearly impossible to, to work with it. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, I have to laugh about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> 10 pages, 3,000. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but I'm, I'm working with it. So uh, 
I uh, spend uh, too much time reading this shit, but I have to because I, I have to grok what, uh, what they are doing and how we can uh, improve it. So, so um, uh, actually, I think uh, these specifications are written by, uh, by lawyers and uh, politicians and not engineers. So that's why it, uh, it is so big because uh, a lot of uh, these documents is useless. You just have to, you just have, to have uh, API specification, uh, technical specification, but they add a lot of uh, blah, 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 and it takes uh, thousands of pages. So uh, what to do? To, uh, to improve the system, we have to compete with traditional banking and finance. And uh, I mean, the traditional banks, uh, actors in place, they are not really ready to, to move to, to technology because uh, this is a big step for them. And uh, after many talks with them, they prefer to acquire some new businesses and uh, get some new technologies and new way of uh, doing things uh, by acquiring new, new companies than uh, doing themselves the, the job uh, with their current employees and the hierarchies and that kind of thing. So uh, we have to compete with them, compete. Uh, maybe you can be the next Google and be and have your own company and uh, be a big company and compete with banks. Or maybe you, you can just uh, open a company and uh, accept to be bought by uh, a bank. But by themselves, they they won't uh, go to to this our technologies, cryptocurrencies, crypto assets. They have mm, labs and uh, space some spaces to to do some research and development, but uh, it's not uh, it's not the same. So, what to do next? Uh, we have to decentralize uh, and specialize. To decentralize. Uh, I mean, use peer-to-peer uh, -peer technologies because um, it's about trust and um, lowering the, the cost so, and, and the reliability of uh, the service. And we know peer-to-peer -peer is, uh, is the best technology for it. I mean, uh, everybody is using uh, the Pirate Bay, even if uh, you have Disney Plus, uh, Netflix, uh, Amazon Video, even YouTube, uh, because it's, this is too expensive and uh, rely on uh, only uh, client server technology. And that's why it costs a lot. And uh, if, they, if they want to decentralize some something, we, we can't do it this way. And specialize, uh, do one job and do it good. Uh, as I said, banks, they do a lot of things. They do lending, they do issuing, they do uh, accounting, they do a lot of services. And they, because of it, they, they are not good at one. So uh, if, you, if we want to do something, we have to do just one thing, and, uh, do it good. Uh, if you do it good, you can do it cheap and uh, efficient. So. By using peer-to-peer -peer technologies and specialize uh, your activity, you can compete with banks by lowering cost. Because at the end, this is uh, always about costs. So, where for this uh, presentation, uh, we are we were talking about uh, friction. So, where is the friction in this uh, this banking and finance space? So we have uh, three things, and uh, I'm not. Uh, I won't uh, talk about uh, what is lending money, uh, what is uh, asset issuing, uh, and uh, what are uh, stock exchanges and that kind of thing. I just focus on uh, what is a bank. Uh, a bank, uh, as we. A custodial company because uh, <laughs> it's not called, it can't be called a, a bank. So there is the QIC, QIB, AML, and CTF regulations. 
uh, the cost of running custodial services and the cost of running payment services. Uh, and that's where lies uh, the most of uh, frictions uh, from what I see now. So uh, about QIC, QID. So uh, in the crypto space, a lot of people are not happy with uh, QIC, but maybe they are, they don't know what is QIC. QIC is mandatory because uh, you, when you use the custodial service, if the custodial service doesn't know who you are, they can't give your money back. That's all. So when you go to a bank, when you open an account, you have to say your name because if, uh, if you don't say your name, when you come back to your bank later, if they don't know you, they won't uh, give you uh, your money back. This is uh, the simple reason. So the, the way KYC is done uh, in banking, uh, this is L, because uh, they put a lot of regulations about uh, uh, what kind of documents uh, you need, uh, what kind of verification you need, uh, you have to ask people if they are uh, politically exposed. Uh, you have to analyze their uh, financial activity and, uh, and tell the government if they, what kind of uh, activities they have. If, 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 the, if the amounts are too high, you have to, to denounce them. So uh, this, is, this is very painful to... Uh, just open for a bank, just to open an account uh, because the, the level of verification and checks uh, asked for it is, uh, is very, very painful. This is a lot of paperwork. So um, in the space, we are thinking about uh, DID, so decentralized identity. And uh, DID is not complicated. This is just a set of proofs you can get from other companies and uh, business institutions. And uh, when you know uh, uh, if a, peop uh, a people is working with uh, this bank, with uh, this lender, uh, with, uh, with this company, this, uh, this business, even if you, if you can have a proof that uh, these people, uh, the people you want to, to uh, open an account to, uh, if your local bakery knows him, this is a, a proof of identity. And, uh, so this set of proof, and uh, it can come from uh, many different companies, uh, can uh, uh, bring you the sufficient level of trust uh, and, and comply with uh, regulations uh, to be able to open an account for him. So, uh, of course, we can, um, and this is a, a big thing, we can use this uh, te technology to incorporate businesses. I mean, if you want to open a, a business, you have to incorporate uh, your business. So, you have to go to the of, uh, office uh, and ask for papers, uh, prove your identity, uh, and give a, a lot of papers about what is your business, uh, what, you are, what you plan to do, uh, how you plan to sell, to who you plan to sell, this kind of thing. So uh, you can, we can use this uh, decentralized identity system to uh, incorporate businesses. And uh, this is useful. Uh, we, we will see it later why this is useful. So after KYC and uh, QIP, there is uh, AML and CTF. And this is a <laughs> this is a joke. This thing is a joke. ML laws exist because central banks have no control over uh, fiat money, and uh, the fiat money can go to dark pools, money lenders, terrorists, arms dealers, drug dealers, human traffickers. Everywhere, uh, bad guys put their money. Uh, so AML CTF is just a big wall uh, to avoid leaks of uh, fiat fiat currency. To, uh, to bad places. So uh, they are imposing a lot of very uh, 
privacy destroying and uh, freedom destroying laws uh, because they have no control of their money over their money so uh, with our technologies and we uh, like bitcoin or ethereum or whatever the cryptocurrency technology a simple one of two smart contract uh, where the emitter have uh, one of the keys is uh, sufficient to have control over uh, uh, tokens so uh, if, uh, if this kind of uh, currency goes to bad places the emitter can uh, spend it back to uh, regulators and uh, institutions that uh, handles the sized assets so uh, I repeat, this is just about Fiat Money because Fiat Money is, uh, is the ultimate shit coin for me. And uh, Fiat Money has this uh, property of being sizable. I mean, if you have uh, money on your bank account, uh, euros or dollars, uh, the government uh, can legally take it uh, from you. So yes, uh, cryptocurrencies will kill or improve. Depends on uh, how you're placed, uh, what is your point of view. Uh, but there is, a, there will be a great impact on the AML CTF uh, regulation. And this is just because uh, um, our technologies brings uh, with it, uh, as we as we saw with uh, Bitcoin, it brings uh, true ownership over uh, over money, but it can bring uh, control over money. So uh, with this kind of uh, smart contracting. We can uh, do shit coins, and uh, as we saw, there are uh, thousands of shit coins and uh, altcoins, and uh, so there is um, maybe uh, fiat currency is a, is a shit coin as well. So um, about friction, we have a uh, cost, so custodial cost and uh, payment cost. So to uncustodial cost, uh, banks. They are not um, technology savvy, so um, they don't write code. They are not computer engineers, so uh, they rely on uh, uh, IT companies to buy some software. But uh, custodial is just about uh, storing information. So we just have to use uh, encryption, of course, uh, with HSMs uh, or Ledger or Trezor to secure data and to be able to audit your number. As a bank, you can use uh, cryptography to audit your accounting uh, numbers and uh, be okay with uh, with your uh, fiscal authority. So cryptography can bring a, a lot of things in the in the accounting space. You have to own your own, own servers uh, to reduce the cost and use uh, low cost technology like uh, standard query language and object storage. Uh, and this is sufficient to to cryptography and uh, storage, basic storage technology is sufficient to uh, be a custody. But for payments, uh, and payments is uh, when you bring, say, uh, money uh, in and out uh, your custody. So uh, the thing is uh, now payment providers, they charge the merchants. Uh, that's why everybody believes uh, payments are free because uh, everybody uses their uh, credit cards and uh, different means of payments without being charged. So, oh, it's okay. Uh, uh, I, I buy I buy my uh, milk bottle and it's uh, one dollar and I pay one dollar with my uh, my credit card. But uh, actually, payment providers charge the merchant, so uh, it's a high fee from 1% to 5%. Uh, it can be lo lower than this for a big uh, big companies. I mean, uh, Walmart, they don't have 1% fee uh, charge on their uh, credit card uh, payments. But if you go to small grocery shop, uh, it can go from 1% to 5%. So uh, to, be, to work on the cost, you have to, we have to lower the payment fee by 10. Uh, I mean, we can, uh, because uh, the technology we use, the computer technologies, servers, APIs, we can lower this kind of cost. We don't have to uh, pay uh, big companies and uh, 
shareholders to this kind of simple uh, business. So uh, after our, uh, if we achieve to lower the cost, we can uh, charge the, the fee to the customer. So, uh, so that the uh, merchant doesn't pay a fee on his payment. Uh, we can use APIs and crypto cryptocurrencies to do this because this is a low cost, com uh, low cost uh, technologies. And uh, if, we, if, this is, if this is the customer that pays the fee, a merchant can sell a product without paying fee. So uh, he can sell very cheap product. I mean, uh, if uh, we know that um, the, the press, uh, all the media, they have difficulties on their business model because uh, people uh, don't want to pay to, to watch, uh, to read their articles. So they put paywalls and they ask you to pay like ten dollars a month to uh, to read uh, all these articles, but uh, they could they should be able to sell their articles just for a view. But uh, what is the cost of uh, one view of one article? It's like one cent or uh, under one cent. So uh, they can't sell you one article view because. Uh, of uh, payment, uh, payment networks, uh, the charge, the fees they charge is too high, so they can't sell you this. Uh, if we lower the fee, uh, charge the customer, uh, maybe for uh, this kind of business, they could uh, sell one view, one article for uh, a few satoshi. And uh, if you are a freelance. A journalist and you write your articles uh, you charge one set one cent by uh, view if you uh, if you are popular and uh, a lot of people uh, uh, watch your uh, uh, read your article it can be a good business model so uh, what is my uh, project about uh, about this so uh, when I started Condensa, um, this was about banking, bad banking, uh, uh, as I knew it was, but uh, it's uh, now I know uh, it's, uh, it's custodial, service, custodial services and payment networks. I mean, I just work with custody and uh, payment network. I don't, I don't do lending, I don't do issuing, I don't do exchange. I just want to order funds for people, fiat and cryptocurrencies, uh, and give access to payment networks uh, like uh, credit cards, uh, SIPA, uh, SWIFT, that kind of networks, but also implicit networks uh, for Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, or even uh, lightning networks or this kind of uh, off-chain uh, technologies. So Comorsa is willing to work uh, with uh, lenders, issuers, and exchanges with APIs. Uh, I don't want to work with uh, with you, with uh, other um, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, with all technologies like uh, Swift or uh, Target 2. <laughs> this is too painful. So uh, we have to build APIs that can work uh, together to uh, make a uh, uh, to make this finance products just side by side on the same application. So that's why Condensa is working on an open source uh, client or SDK that can work with custodial, flanders, issuers, exchange uh, APIs. So uh, when you have uh, an account uh, at Condensa or an, at an exchange, you can, uh, with your API keys, you can access the whole uh, crypto finance or new finance model. Uh, with APIs on the low cost, uh, with the low cost fees uh, and uh, all the features I explained uh, before. So uh, the plan, there is uh, two plans. The first is uh, for people um, like you and me, when you we just live our financial life, uh, we want free banking. So. Uh, that's why the, the business model should only based on small payment fees 
I mean, um, and this is why uh, I'm doing it in Poulonsa. Uh, when you use a, a bank, a bank or a custody, uh, you just pay a fee. Uh, the fee I said, like uh, 10 basis points or 50 basis points. And this is all. You don't, you don't have to pay anything to open an account or uh, all your funds. You just pay uh, fees on your uh, what you spend. And uh, so you don't have uh, any surprise on your account when you, uh, because uh, the bank is charging you $20 a month uh, because you have an account uh, open. But the, the big thing is uh, it's about uh, entrepreneurs and uh, the plan is to make it frictionless for them. So uh, an entrepreneur uh, should be able to uh, incorpor incorporate uh, with the dealer registries. I mean, no paperwork. So uh, you want to open your business, you open your business with one click. Then you can open a bank account with access to payment networks with no time and no cost. So your business is able to uh, receive and spend uh, money. Uh, you, an entrepreneur should be able to issue his company's capital, like equity, that kind of thing with an issuer. That's why I, I want to work with issuers. Uh, put his capital tokens on exchanges to fund this company. So uh, this is like a um, funding market. And uh, with ICOs, uh, even if ICOs was uh, a lot of scams, uh, this, the technical way to do it is, uh, is, uh, is, a good, is good. So uh, put your uh, capital tokens on a space where people can invest in your project after uh, seeing your white paper or your project or your, your numbers, uh, this is better than uh, uh, going to your bank and asking uh, what are the best product to buy uh, to them. So, uh, uh, and finally, to, um, these entrepreneurs should be able to sell a very cheap product and services. And uh, that's why I said, uh, that's what I said about um, journalism and uh, uh, difficulties uh, some people uh, in the cyberspace have to run their business model. Uh, I mean, uh, journalists, uh, streamers, and all these new kind of jobs. And uh, with this virus, virus uh, we know that we have to work uh, remotely. So this, uh, I think this is a good thing that uh, we can sell uh, maybe uh, more, more technical, uh, more technically, uh, in a way. So uh, you you don't work for a week to work for a task, and you sell your task for uh, for a price. And uh, if you are charged by uh, payment networks over your 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 job, so over your, the work you do, uh, this can this this can't work. So uh, if journalist uh, is a good example for this. So if, uh, if you can uh, live on your blog post, uh, if you're a journalist, this is good. So uh, maybe you have questions. Uh, so uh, thank you for listening to me. And, uh, yeah, awesome. The, what I'm curious about is that so all of the all of the proposed services that can mm -hmm. that can be um, streamlined uh, that that the crypto uh, system offers all of these things exist even right down to payroll streaming uh, or mm -hmm. content streaming there's all of the, the proofs of concepts and whatever what I'm curious about is so I mean it's kind of like a preaching to the converted uh, preaching to the choir sort of a, a, a description what what I'm missing is is what is the majority of your work in uh, explaining these benefits to extant institutions or extant so regulators or whoever it is that you're you're speaking to in order to do this under current legal regimes yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the part of the experience that I'm interested in, right? We get all the stuff that we can do with it, but 
you know, what's yes. it like to talk to, you know, legacy institutions about doing this? Yes, that's, uh, you know, the, um, the problem with uh, big institutions is uh, uh, there are big hierarchies. There is a lot of people in these uh, institutions, uh, like uh, thousands of people, and uh, this is a hierarchy. So you have a boss and uh, uh, several layers uh, in, uh, in, uh, in this kind of institution. When you work with uh, with people in this institution, uh, and you want to uh, to express your point of view or uh, or convince them to do something uh, or uh, ask them to work on a project with you, uh, you have to convince one people. But uh, the um, incentive for these people in this in, uh, in this uh, institution, this hierarchy. Uh, this is not the well-being of the institution or the company or the bank or the big thing. The incentive for the people you are talking to is how can they move up in the hierarchy. So when you bring project to them, uh, you have to you don't have to convince them that it's good for their uh, institution or uh, the, it's good for the regulator or it's good for the, this bank or this company. You have to convince the people you are talking to that your project will be good for his uh, career in the institution. And uh, this is why it's difficult because uh, uh, when you are in the space and uh, you are an entrepreneur, as you are and uh, as I am, uh, when you when you bring your project, you you are uh, <laughs> naive, and you say, "Oh, uh, okay, my project is good for you, regulators, because of this, 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 this." this. But now uh, you have to to explain, uh, "Okay, uh, my project is good for you, because if you uh, work on this project." Uh, you can put it in your uh, curriculum vitae and uh, say, oh, I was working on this, and this is good. Even if the pro project failed, this is, <laughs> this is the worst. Uh, even if uh, this is not the, same, the, the right incentive for people in this uh, institution or uh, regulator, regulating institutions, uh, they don't ask you to have a good project they ask you to have a project that, that uh, serves them. Okay, so I'm curious, how, what is your legal status in which jurisdiction? What type of company form do you have in meat space? Because we can do anything we want in cyberspace. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, yes, uh, and that's, uh, that's related with uh, the regulator uh, uh, work I have. Uh, so I started this company uh, or this project in uh, 2017. And uh, I, asked, uh, I asked how can I be a bank or what are the, the kind of companies uh, that can work with money. So there are two kinds of, of companies, there are banks that lends money and uh, French, there is a French bank. jurisdiction or European jurisdiction. Which, which jurisdiction did you start talking to people in, uh, in France? Okay. In France. Uh, so in European union, but for banks, uh, there are no borders. If you are a bank somewhere, you are a bank everywhere. So when you open a bank, if this is in uh, France or United States, or Japan, or uh, Morocco, or Switzerland. If you open a bank, you, are, you have the right to work in any country. Banks well, don't have borders. You have a passport. We do have passport banking for certain. Yes, yes. so no. banks, they can passports. But uh, in uh, every country, uh, there is a, a license to buy, uh, and the, it costs around $10 million to acquire a banking license, but you have to do uh, a lot of paperwork. And when I say a lot of paperwork, I mean a lot of paperwork. 
but this is for banks. So uh, when you have this license, you can lend money. You have an account at your uh, at your central bank, uh, so you can access the uh, monetary base, and uh, you can create uh, money out of thin air. But that's what uh, I don't want to do. This I don't want to to create uh, debt debt money or the, this kind of thing. So the second thing is uh, payment service providers or uh, electronic money electronic money institutions, and. Uh, for example, uh, Eurocard, Mastercard, and Visa, they are uh, electronic money institutions and they are payment service providers. And the, this is the thing I want to do. Uh, you don't lend money, but you have the right to, uh, to hold, to custody uh, fiat currency for your customers. And uh, this is uh, under licenses. And uh, there is a, a lot of different price prices for this kind of licenses uh, from country to country. So uh, you have, it costs a few hundred thousand dollars. So it come, it goes from uh, 100 thousand to uh, a few millions dollars, depending on the country. And uh, with this license, you can uh, have the fans of your, uh, of your uh, customers. Uh, in your company, and I mean, in your company, uh, you are not a company with a, a bank account where you where you put the money of your uh, customers. Say so you are a company and you have a computer system where you store the accounting data for your uh, customers' uh, money. And, and and so you you purchased a money transmitter license. Yes, this is a money transmitter license. Uh, that's it. Okay. Did you finance that with Bitcoin? Uh, it's difficult to um, to have uh, this kind of license when you say you work with Bitcoin. Okay. So, how are you? What was your? What is your company doing in a in a legal sense as far as the 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 license grantor is concerned. Because mm. <laughs> uh, we come back to the to the noodle, the noodle it, you know, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, selling noodles. So what is Condensat doing as far as the jurisdictional uh, authority is concerned for the money uh, transfer license that you have? Uh, we are in the process of uh, acquiring, acquiring it. But um, it takes a lot of time because uh, they have to do checks, a lot of checks, and uh, and uh, there is a compliance documents. There are a lot of things to to have uh, for this. But uh, I want uh, I work in Switzerland because Switzerland is uh, an open country to uh, to cryptocurrencies. Uh, when I was in France, uh, they told me back in 2017, now it changed, but in, back in 2017, they told me that they, they didn't want to uh, have a company, a money transmitter license company uh, that works with cryptocurrencies. So I moved to Switzerland to open it to Switzerland because uh, Switzerland is uh, more open to it. But now that uh, uh, some governments are talking about uh, digital currencies like uh, China uh, with uh, crypto yuan and the uh, United States with uh, digital dollars. Uh, some institutions uh, in France came back to me to ask me how they can do uh, they can do it. But they, they just are. Uh, you said it costs it costs you four Bitcoin per hour to find out, right? I hope. <laughs> yes, uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, uh, but the, wor the worst, the worst thing is uh, they are they know who I am, so they know uh, I come from, you know, this uh, uh, crypto anarchist space. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so but, so they are they are asking me how to do it, so that so that they can tell their friends, their bank banker friends, how to do it. And let them do it. So they are asking me to just give them 
everything and go. So, uh, so no, it's, uh, no <laughs> I can't yeah, do the same, thing, the same thing happened back in, in MP3 file sharing days, you know, the record companies, we went and talked to them about, look, there's this new digital music format. You can do this and this and this with it. And they, all they want to do is hear about it, but mm -hmm. pay you for the knowledge or cut you in on a percentage of the, uh, nah, it's mm -hmm. the same, you know, all around. Yeah. 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 Cool. What side of what sort of time frame can we expect to see uh, condensat uh, being mm. active? If I'm lucky, by the end of the year, but uh, I bet more on 2021. Uh huh. 2021. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about uh, Square Crypto and mm. what they're doing and the other? I will. Um... I will work with them. Uh, I mean, uh, what I'm uh, actually what I do with Condensa is software. I write software, so uh, I'm working with different companies. I'm working with uh, Blockstream. I'm working with uh, AXA. I'm working with uh, different companies, banks, and uh, crypto space companies to make it happen to have a solution for custody. For, uh, to replace banks. We want to replace banks so that we don't need them anymore. So uh, we are working with different uh, people in space. I have a lot of NDAs, uh, so I can't tell uh, much. But uh, yes, with uh, all this uh, Square Crypto, uh, Crypto.com, uh, exchanges, uh, different exchanges, we are working on things so that we have uh, our crypto finance space, and we don't need to rely on anything else. Yeah. So I mean, don't necessarily. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, we'll leave. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. But, uh, uh, <laughs> I hope there is there will be another conference uh, next year. So uh, when I will uh, tell you, oh, my uh, my company is open, and you can access. Uh, uh, Kraken, uh, Bitfinex, uh, Tether, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, dollars, crypto dollars, crypto euros, uh, and that kind of thing without uh, all the boredom of uh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, thank yes. you so much for coming thank in. You. It was really important for me. Uh, for people to have an overview of of, of mm -hmm. decreasing friction from somebody who's been around from the beginning. Um, okay. Yeah, man. Thank you a lot. Another. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at it another. It's gonna be, I'm curious what it's going to be like in another ten years from now. You know, mm. we have ten years to replace the right. uh, the financial system. Because, because really, I mean, pretty much professionally, actively, we both started right in the same year, in 2012. You know, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of things that have gone under the water since then. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another ten years is going to be interesting, right? Yeah, we have we have a lot of reasons to be happy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I look at the last ten years, and every time I make a Bitcoin payment, or every time I make, you know, I. I, I take some dye from somebody for some from some work. Every time I click pay or every time I look at receive, I swear to God, it's just like a little. <laughs> so cool. Every single time, it it hasn't worn off on me that there's no bank between me and what it is that I'm doing with another person, mm. and that we've accomplished that, and that people are talking to us now, mm. yeah, and people it's... are competing with us. I thought it was I thought it was twenty thirty years away. I did not think it was ten. Really? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, proceed with celerity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Talk will, talk will be online. Okay? Okay. I'll let Bye. you know. Cheers.